Welcome back to Samsta Games, the place to find new strategy games, and today we're gonna play Gaia Beyond. Now this is an RTS in space or a space exploration game, so let's begin. This game is currently in early access, so let me show those. So first of all, we can pick how we want to look, and I'm thinking, you know what, let's look like her. That's kind of fun. In my desk game I look like this, but that seems very basic, I guess, so let's look like her. I mean, look at this thing in her ear and the, her face. Is, is it like tattoos or is that like, is she like a half robot? I can't tell. One of those things. Well, her name is obviously Samstra. I mean, at least you think her name was. I should have called her Samstra bot. Because <laughs> her tattoos look like if they were a robot. Now, we can pick where were we born. Are we a boring human? A Neptunian or Mercurian? Now, if you pick Earth, then your ship is kind of equally good at being fast and at being good at shooting. If you pick Neptune, you are going to start with a weaker but faster shuttle and if you pick Mercury, you're gonna go with a stronger but slower shuttle. Now I'm gonna pick Mercury because the way this game has movement, the controls, it's very smart but I tend to forget that that's how that works and that's why I always move a bit awkwardly. So if I, my ship is gonna be slow, it's not gonna seem so awkward. So. I'll talk to you about the controls in a second. The harsh working conditions on Mercury made it easy for you to leave this planet behind. I hate it there! You took the first chance you got to take part in the neutral colonies project of the ISA. After living an unforgiving life as a G12 citizen for so long. Told you we're half a robot. With tattoos, apparently. <laughs> Be careful who you talk to and what to say. Bad manners can lead to bad consequences. Yeah, a apparently on Mercury, if you have, if you say things, you might end up in jail or, you know, in space on a ship because you have to run from cops. Maybe, maybe. I'm not saying that's what happened to my character. I'm not saying that. Maybe. <laughs> I thought we made that up. That's not part of the game, just to be clear. <laughs> Sometimes when I say things, I'm like, are people going to think that it's part of the game? It's not. Chapter 1, Crash Course. Talk to Auxilium, the instructor. Alright, so the, the way the movement works, right? You move... Oh, it, it's not letting me move because... Okay, fine. Because tutorial. Fine. How does it feel to be free, Samstra? It feels great to be in space. I've waited a long time for this. But I'm still feeling a little bit dizzy. The first time I took off from Earth, I was too excited to get dizzy. But my brother, he puked buckets as we went through the orbit. I mean, I live in Mercury, so I thought it wouldn't affect me as much. And you've always been a good pilot. Zopa talks about it all the time. He does? Hmm. That old hag never praises me when I'm around myself. Don't talk about her like that, okay? She's my friend, I think. Because she likes you too much. Ha, oh, don't joke about that woman. Let's check your pil piloting skills one last time. Uh, I'm, I think I'm just gonna skip the story. I can walk you through it. Alright, so <laughs> the way this works is that if you move upwards with the W key on the keyboard, you're moving to where your mouse is. It's not like up. Um, w means up, it just means towards your cursor. So if you, for example, go down, you're moving away from your cursor and sideways and etc. And I tend to, especially if I'm in combat, I tend to forget that. And, and I think I think it's a really good decision. I think it's it's smart. But uh, I forget about that, and then I always try to like go up, and didn't realize that my cursor is at my enemy. So then I move straight into the enemy, and I'm like, no, that's not what I wanted to. And also, by the way, click X to just stop. You also click S to go like backwards. But then the problem is that you're moving backwards. You're not actually stopping. You there? Wait, what's going on? The Caducas is ordering you to stop your vessel right now. Have you had your blood examined yet? The area around Pluto is contaminated. I mean, we just came in, so we're clearly not contaminated. The Ganymede, <clears throat> the Ganymede flu is spreading and we are here to contain it and we will kill you if that's what we need to do. I mean, it's a little aggressive, but okay. <laughs> what flu? I feel pretty healthy. Mr. Shiro, Dr. Norkness has been calling. He needs to see you immediately. Something about rats and dogs, I didn't really understand. The doctor's project is of uttermost importance. I love how the ships just keep hitting each other. Like, we don't care, you've got shields. It's just gonna hit you. 
move out of the way. It's not my problem. No need to understand the full complexity of everything he says. I love how the boss is like, eh, I may not understand it, but he's a doctor. It's fine. I just do whatever he says. <laughs> so imagine the doctor being like, I need a lot of money for this research. I thought you were just finished. No, it's really important. I need like a billion. Um, I mean, okay, if that's what you need. And then just runs away with the money. Yeah, just whatever. We can't stay then. Let our new recruit handle the situation. Uh, Noob Henderson. Uh, me? Wait a minute, guys. I still can't fly this ship straight. <laughs> Welcome to my class. <laughs> you heard Mr. Shiro. Take that civilian to the station for a blood test. By force is required. Uh, hold your engines. Shooting people wasn't part of the job description. Really, it was part of my job description. I'm an or Mercury. It's sort of a prerequisite. I'll make you answer to the doctor if you refuse to do your job, Henderson. See, this is how you can see that the doctor is the boss on that ship. Because, like, even the big boss, Mr. Shiro, is terrified of the doctor. I mean... There they go. Uh, are they gonna fight me? Where am I? Uh... Why can I move? What happened? Oh, we have to talk. Okay. For a glorious first day at work, my wife told me to reject this offer, but job is a job after all. You'll have to follow me to the station for a standard quarantine process. If you won't comply, I'll have to use force. Can I? Can I? Can I fight her? I hope this job pays for your for real. <laughs> Let's let's try to be nice before we kill her, because she was being nice to us. Like she's trying super hard, okay? Just let me throw, no one needs to know. Your persuasion techniques are way too primitive. Begging like this one up. Okay, if you insult me now I'm gonna kill you. Oh honey. You don't know what you're saying. Cause I'm just gonna kill you right now. Oh now! <laughs> Okay, that was a bit of a fail on our part. Go to the side, go to the side, please. Uh, there's like an auto... Okay. See, see, I, I clicked to the left. No. <laughs> this is all of my, like, okay. No, 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 no. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. It's it's fine, we've got the shields. I'm, I'm just trying to show you that not everybody is good immediately away from the academy with actually moving their ship around, you know? It's just, it's I'm being in character, okay? This is totally not saying anything about my skills and gameplay. This is just me being in character, okay? <laughs> Did she say that before she dies? Uh, my wife was right. I totally suck. I mean, I thought you were pretty cool. I mean, it's just... We're gonna pretend that we didn't kill her, that we just like took her on our ship as a prisoner and we'll let her off at the next station, because we're not that cruel. Like, she was being nice, okay? I'm not gonna kill her for that. I have to kill this too? Oh, okay. We're gonna land now. For that you have to click Q. And we can land on the planet and talk to whoever we're supposed to talk to. Come on. Land on the planet, please. Who's up as greenhouse, okay. Balrash! I don't believe this one bit. That Mr. Risha can bite my butt. I agree, no communications, no way out or nothing is working since those guys came down on us. Most of the colonists want to leave after this incident. Additionally, that fool Chandra is inciting a lot of hysteria. Right now he's at Teal's infirmary making a fool of himself. Darn him to earth, he's been causing a lot of problems lately. What are you talking about? What's going on here? What happened? Finally, Axelim and Samstra. Ooh, apparently I'm famous. You know how much I hate this kind of ruckus in my garden? We had some surprise. Oh, it's Zoppa. Okay, I see. We had some surprise visitors. Call themselves the Kadikeos caused a whole lot of trouble. Put their ships down right on top of us. Mackenzie almost got swashed. It upset him from the start. Then they went on about some kind of sickness spreading and forced everyone to do some blood tests. Mackenzie declined. He didn't believe Kadikeos one bit. Most colonists seemed to agree with him. Then one of the guards shot him. What? Oh, no. Are you kidding? Is he alive? He's alive and well. Teal is taking care of him. Those guys were nothing more than thugs if you ask me. Well, what can I do to help? I want to help you, Zappa. For now, we don't know anything. The first thing we need to do is getting some information about what's going on out there. 
Karuku has planted some kind of drones around orbit to prevent us from using communications radar. We have to get rid of them before we can do anything else. There are a lot of pirates out there only waiting for an opportunity like this. Destroy all three Karuku's drones that are jamming our signals, then come back and visit me at the workshop. Got it? On it! Sounds like a plan. I am ready! And let's leave this place and go. Let's go. Uh, where am I? Okay. Let's go shoot some drones. Okay. If we had turrets, they would sort of auto target. But the weapon that we have, it's not capable of auto targeting, so you have to kind of do it manually. But yeah. Okay. Let's let's go this way. We don't need to go too close to the drone. Ah. Okay. <laughs> hey, we're we doing fine. I'm still role playing that my character is bad at this. Whoa, 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 whoa. Maybe, maybe don't stand into the drone. Like. <laughs> Just imagine, like, the pilot, like, what was he doing in training? Like, it's just, just terrible. <laughs> just like, you know, just flow. Oh, oh, these, these things gives us minerals? Or aluminium in this case. Okay, let's go back to the workshop. In the workshop, we can sort of upgrade our ship and get some really good stuff. Let's land and go to the workshop. Oh, wait, we're meeting a new person. Please, Ben, I've had enough of Chandra's hysterics. I need to get to the bottom of this and I can't work with him looking over my shoulder and complaining all the time. I'm sorry, Tiri, he's the most sensitive fool I know. I'm going to try taking him off your back as soon as I'm finished up here. You're back, Samstro. Any good news? I mean, what did you think? I am awesome at this, okay? Right, I'm sorry that I doubted you. Looks good. Communications are back online. Raider is back too. Great job, Songstra. Team Kariku has placed a lot of these drones around the system. Can't hurt to take them all down, if you ask me. I still don't know about the Ganymede flu, but placing those drones that accident makes Mackenzie shutting us from the outside communication. I mean, their whole act is just messed up. Listen, Songstra, we still need some favors from me to keep things running around here. Yeah, I need to prepare a blood test for the whole colony, so if you can please visit the ISA outpost on Nyx and ask for a blood test kit. I mean... What am, what else am I here for except for running around for blood kits? It's not necessary, but it could be really helpful later on to know if there's a really an infection. I mean, I've got nothing better to do. I'm on it. There's another problem. Like I thought, Vasquez and his men are preparing an attack since our systems went on offline. They are defenseless now. I need you to visit Cameron and Gricefield Station. Get some defense to us to place around Pluto from him. He still owes me a favor. Tell Cameron if he gives you the turrets for free. I'll forget about that one time with Charon. You may need some persuasion though. I'm actually pretty terrible at persuasion, but I'll try. I mean, the woman who didn't really want to fight me. Wasn't persuaded my, by me and then I had to kill her, so, you know, maybe my... I'm not really good at talking, I'm also not really good at piloting ships, but I am good at killing people, so, you know, that's why I was hired. Um, I don't really have a response to that. Alright, three defense turrets, got it. I'll keep Sharon in mind. <laughs> Are we supposed to visit the Griffith station to get three defense turrets? We can do that later. We could first talk to... Re well, to... Re um, Exilium? To Auxilium, yeah. I think this is going to allow us to do the upgrade on our ships. Good to see you, Zamstra. This whole Karikus business is pretty messed up if you ask me. Nowadays you never know what kind of maniacs you meet in outer space. By the way, I can repair your ship and sell you some weapons. There are a lot of pirates around, so keep an eye on your shield and health bar. I mean, of course! And don't forget, some weapons can also be upgraded with specific minerals. It might be worth it. Anything you need? Yeah, I, I want to show this off. Show me your weapons! <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's kind of funny when you say it like that. <laughs> Show me your weapons. I'm in a good mood today, okay? I find a lot of things funny. Okay, so what we've got is, according to this oxy gun, 
which has a DPS, so damage per second 16, kinetic damage 4, critical hit chance 0, fire rate 4 seconds. What I love about this uh, thing is that if you hover over another thing, it will tell you exactly what the differences are. So we have how much? We've got 400 credits, but we could also sell some of these and exchange them for something else. For example, we could try to get these... Did we get the missiles? This is 400, 500, so together we've got 900, so we could get this out of gun. Yeah, this is a DPS plus 11, and lower max energy and lower accuracy, but I don't think we can. So let's do it. Let's uh, give him this back. In ex exchange, we want this, so we're going to only have 123 credits left. That's fine. Let's do that. Now, we also have to equip it on our ship, so we're going to leave now. Just be like gone and then we're gonna go to our ship which is here in the inventory and you actually have to grab this and put it on your ship so we're gonna put it here into the f slot and you're actually going to see i'm gonna zoom in on the ship that on the left side we've got a turret we've got nothing on the right side we could place something there but that's okay these places are empty now we could also upgrade our ships we could uh, if we had this here we could upgrade it if we had the right resources, so we would need one aluminium, we have that, but also iron, titanium, and TP energy cells, which we don't have. So we're just going to put this back in. But this is a cool thing. You can you can upgrade stuff by yourself. You can also jump to our character, and we can use our skill point. So we've got one available point. And we've got a couple of these trees here that you can use. Now, at the moment, the, we can either get pedal to the floor, which increases my ship's speed, or increases my view radius. Now, because we know that I'm completely amazing at piloting, we're going to go with Explore, because I don't think going fast is going to help us with my terrible navigation skills. Like, that's just... <laughs> that's just asking for trouble. Oh, yeah, I promised to zoom in. Could you, like, stop? And you can see here... We've got this little turret, so if I'm shooting, you can see this shooting from this. Oh, I love how the shooting just kind of makes us spin. No, it's just we spin normally. All right, so where is our where are our quests? So we've got two quests. We've got Crash Course. So we have to go to the Greyfield Station to get the turrets. That's over here. And we also have got a Blot Simple. Get Blast Test Kit on Nyx. That's up there. Let's try to go up. That seems... I, I think we can handle that. Maybe. We'll see if there's someone there who wants to kill us. Because there are pirates. No, no, wait, 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 wait. There is something here. Something we want to grab. Come on. Yes. Oh, I was kind of hoping it would be like iron or something else because that would help us. Um, you know, I, I would like to show you the upgrading if I could. That would be pretty fun. All right, let's let's grab this. Just keep on getting aluminium. Uh, right click on this and Q to land. No we'll talk to the ISA Exploration Outpost. Oh, I love that you can see it over here. We'll talk to Paytoon. It does look pretty beautiful. I mean, it's it's fancy. I'm the last working staff on this ISA Outpost. They just don't care anymore. I just hope they don't forget to pay me. I mean, if they don't care, will they pay you? Recently, the ISA discovered some strange object outside the curfew belt back at the Taina Hauser Research Station. That's what it's all about now. I mean... We could be nice and talk, but we're kind of in a hurry. Oh, oh, you have a shop? Okay, who cares about my quest? Show me your shop. What you've got, man? Some ampicillin to treat bacterial infections, first aid kit to help a, wound a wounded person. Uh, they're actually gonna be wounded people soon. Uh, Painkiller, I say meds for pains, headaches, and other stuff. No, nah. I don't need your help. And Teal needs a blood test kit, and I don't care what you're talking about. Teal, a blood test kit? I mean, no problem. That's what I'm here for. Now, I say this wouldn't these things for free anyway. That's cool. Here you go. You can have this one. Thank you. That was pretty nice of him. Let's go. Uh, we're gonna leave this place and we're gonna go back down to talk. To See, I just I clicked the button down. Yeah, this is just uh, sorry. <laughs> I apologize. I would like to point out that my terrible, whoa, terrible skills and navigations are not a fault of the game, but mine. We have a problem. Stop! Hold, remind you, dear civilian. I am from the Cadicus. Did you destroy our satellites around Pluto? They were part of an important project, you know? Yeah, I think that was me. Yes, yes. We're trying to contain the Gunnyman flu, you know? I like that he's explaining. I am innocent. I didn't do it. 
I said hold not story hour when I need lies. I talk to my superior things, but no things. Please don't kill me. Um, we're really terrible at this, but we'll try anyway. But I really didn't do it. Sorry, you're not persuasive enough. I know, everybody's got to run. You can, well, no, run, girl. Run. <laughs> this, is, this is a problem when you have a slow ship. <laughs> Am I really, like, supposed to fight them off? What are they expecting from me? There's no way. Are they going to follow me forever? Is nobody going to help me? They're not. I, I'm faster than them, which is good. Could I hide? I don't think there's a hiding mechanic in this game. Ooh. Are you help me? Are you going to help me? Big ship, big man. Want to help a little man? Shoot them. No, they don't want to help a little man. Okay. It was worth a shot. They could have been nice. Really? Like, am I, am I really supposed to kill you? Because, like, that doesn't seem like the... Go, go, go. Sorry. They have to fly backwards. Yeah, I think, I think we just have to run. Because of, of the fact that we are faster than them, we should be able to just, like, fly away. And because there is no way we can beat them. They're a big ship and we're a tiny ship. Just fly this way. Yeah, we don't have the range. That's the thing. We'd have to be really, really close. Maybe, maybe if we fly closer towards, like, Pluto or something, we might get a chance to get some help. Like, I mean, come on. You can't ask me to beat this ship. Okay, I'll try, I'll try. See, we're taking a long time to kind of reload, so we can't really shoot... Uh, Yeah, I mean, just fly backwards. Alright, but we'll fly away. There's no way. <laughs> Maybe if we fly to up there, they'll leave us alone. happen to me in my test game. A little, a little confused, like what are we supposed to do with that? We can't beat that, it's three times, ten times bigger than us. But it's slow. Very, very slow. Also, I love the effect that you can see that the ship is kind of broken because it's just not doing so hard. How are we doing on the map? Actually, we might be able... No, 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 let's, let's keep going to that direction. We might also be able to go back and talk to them and maybe then they'll send help. Because we can say like, hey, there's somebody is really... Oh, by the way, if you see a uh, thing, you could also autopilot to it. No, 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 not the enemy. Um, I want to autopilot to this. Oh, it's gone. So, so we got rid of it. Good, because we went... Why can I go in? Is it because there's an enemy behind me so it's not gonna let me? Okay, now no, I can run. Good. You ran away! So we gotta go talk to at the market with Cameron. Welcome to the market in Greaseswald. My name is Cameron. I'm in charge of your mining equipment. How can I help you? Ben from Pluto sent me. We need a pack of defense threats. Ben? That stupid croc. He hasn't said hi for years. What does he need now? Defense threats for his lost cozy colony? You tell him the comradeship is always willing to lend a helping hand, but we're not a charity. Of course, you can pay for it if you got the money. Ben sounded like Ben sounded like you still owe him a favor. I don't owe Ben nothing. He's always angry about some stuff I haven't done yet. He told me that he'll forget about the one time at Charon. Playing the guild card? That's not working with me. Ah, I'm just so bad at that <laughs> persuasion. <laughs> I mean... Could you help me? I'm being hunted by an enemy, but apparently that's not an option to talk about. We need to repair ourselves. I can only tell you what I told you yesterday. There's no old genome engine core in our stores. There's no way we can get one in time soon. 
Ah, I won't get off this for a second. I won't get off this for case station if I can get an old genome engine car. I'm stuck. You should just buy one of our new ships and forget about your old vessel. No, I just can't forget about Matilda. The shadow stood by me in times of need. Without Matilda, I'm not gonna leave here. Just saying, you'll need a lot of luck to get old parts like this anywhere. No! This bacteria is full us to the station. It's gonna kill everybody in the station. It's gonna be our fault. <laughs> Wait till the doctor gets a hold of you. <laughs> uh, we could talk to this guy. I was gonna fix my ship, but we'll do it later. I won't leave Matilda here. I'll stay till I get that old genome engine car and fix it up. What do you need? Uh, I don't need anything. Let's let's talk to these guys. They're gonna fix my ship. Your client need better mining equipment, shield weapons, upgrades, or even a new shadow? Welcome to Renzo the Engineer. Yeah, I would like you to repair me. I like it says repair me and not my ship. Like apparently I'm a part of my ship. But it's still have terrible piloting skills. <laughs> right. Um I think we're out of time, so we're gonna end the episode here. Apparently we ran away from the evil guys who were trying to kill us. So you know. There are games where we are not cowards, like Vlogs Hammer of Scots, or game where we run like cowards all the time and that's this game because yeah <laughs> all right well i hope you enjoyed this episode if you did right now in the comments and click on the right to watch some other real games in space i'll see you there bye bye